Hi, Bill here. Uh, today I'll be reviewing Transformers Construct Bots Beast Hunters Bulkhead, with, who's got Air Raid and Wolfgang. As you can see, the uh, Construct Bots have started doing the Beast Hunters one. And there's Bulkhead there. You can see his head. His head looks actually kind of different. I know it's trying to look like the Transformers Prime one from Beast Hunters. You can see. But it looks different, and there's Air Razor, some sort of ego, and there's Wolfgang. And there's thing with there, and you can see there's the heads there. Wolfgang, Air Razor, and Bulkhead's head, all in there. And to show you the back of the box, and there's one up okay, at the side, three in one, and there it is at the back. You've got the bulkhead there, and air razor turns into a sort of a blade, and Wolfgang just turns into a kind of small robot there. You can see that, it's hard, difficult to see. Hold on, Let's see if I can zoom it in. There it is, small, sort of small robot. Uh, the air razor turns into uh, uh, some sort of blade that the bulkhead's hold, holding. So, uh, there it is there. It's uh, 70 pieces, as you can see. Uh, nothing in the side. And just that at the side there, showing you more. Th three in one. Well, obviously, I got this because it has the two extra uh, figures with it. I think that they've only ever came with one little figure. Uh, and, the, and the Air Razor one just kind of reminds you of the Arms Micron type thing, because it obviously turns into a weapon. The Arms Micron style. Style thing. So, without further ado, I'll get this guy built and show you him off. I'm not going to do the build on the video, because it just takes too bloody long. So, some other ones will probably do the build on the video, and that's up to them. But me, I'd just rather build it and show it off. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, here, there's Bulkhead in the robot modes, and that's... Um, Air Razor and Wolfgang. Air Razor and Wolfgang. Uh, yep, obviously Wolfgang and Air Razor. Now, one thing this thing didn't come in is you usually get the plastic containers or cases. It came in this, but it just came in the wee baggies in this. See, that's the thing with the heads, and it just came in this uh, cardboard insert with the baggies inside. There was no plastic uh, case. Because you usually get plastic cases with them. As you can see, he's got his weapons, a mace and a hammer. Uh, his head looks different from Bulkhead, I think. Oh. Uh, I don't think he's quite down yet. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I haven't put him quite down. There he is. That's better. I didn't have that properly transformed. Right, he's, there's his head there. Doesn't quite look like Bulkhead's head. I think it looks kind of like a, like an ape. Ah, you can see the little bulbous bit there. It tries to look like Bulkhead. But it definitely doesn't look like TF Prime one. Even though it tries to. Uh, so, I mean, it can. Obviously, it's got all the rubber ball joints. It does all the usual articulation that you'd expect of the. Of these, this range, you know, the construct box range. Uh, you can hold them. The other thing is, it can do. If I can do this, because you can just take these off. Pump the camera. Is like with I think the the Takara range had them. Uh, because or from the Transformers Prime uh, characters and, and stuff, is you got the Arms Micron stuff. 
And he's sort of like an arms micron because you can do this. You put his head down like that. You bend him forward like this. And you close the wings. Now they've got these little tab things there. As you can see. That there and that there. You just kind of close them over each other. It's not the easiest thing to do. You try and tab that in there. Best you can, like that. And he becomes a sword for bulkhead to hold. Because it does actually fit in there. It's a bit weird. Because his feet's in the road. See, see his feet there. His feet of the of the razors in the road. But you can't whoops. You can actually hold the sword like that. And there he is holding the sword. I'll try and arm that. There he is there holding the sword. So it does pay a little bit of homage to the arms micron range that he got from Takara of some of the figures. I know this is a Beast Hunters line uh, of Construct Bots, but it does kind of pay a slight homage to that. From as to that, you can, you are getting these with the sort of arms micron-y style figures that that do double up his weapons, like you did with the Takara range for Transformers Prime. So at least you're getting that little extra uh, added to the to the, to this line of the construct bots. But uh, yeah, the wolf guy, I'll try and do him now. In fact, I'll just move him to the side. I'll do the little, uh, oh, little wolf guy. Wham, well, he's obviously he's holding his tail as a weapon, much to the same as Predator King would. Uh, easy to do this guy, very simple. You open that up. Take the wolf head out. It's a saber tooth wolf type thing. The damn head will come out. There it is. You push that head back and you turn the head up like that. It does go into that little. I can see you can see it now. That little thing with an insert there. The head will it'll fit should fit right over that does you can actually open up the wolf mouth there it is whoops there's the wolf mouth open and of course you turn the arms and turn the leg to form the feet and you just turn them because they're all they tend to ride out that ball joint so that's the trouble with these construct bots the ball joints are tend to ride out and you just fold this one down uh, and rotate the the foot round to to form the cat claw there you can see and do the same on the other side and you just turn that around like this I think they're kind of like cyberverse sized or I'm not sure they're kind of deluxe sized, but they're either kind of deluxe or cyberverse sized uh, things this is. And obviously I'll, I'll lower this and put them down. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot his tail. So you, you've got a bit at the back, you plug the tail in. And that's him there. Obviously. Oh. Very good, hold on. There he is, there. And that's uh, Wolfgang. In his wolf mode. Obviously you can get him in better positions than I can. But that's him there. Like I say, he's, he's probably Cyberverse. It's a, between Cyberverse and Deluxe. Size figure. I don't have other things to show you against that. But he's about that kind of Cyberverse that size, I think. Uh, and obviously, uh, bulkhead is probably well, he's maybe 
Deluxe. We're heading for Voyager. Between Voyager and Deluxe, I would say. Ah, he's, he's, he's probably more kind of Voyager sized. He's probably kind of more kind of Voyager sized. In fact, hold on. Well, here's Roadbuster. And next to him, you know, Roadbuster's what size he is. He's Voyager. So he's not that far off being Voyager. He's just slightly taller. Barely an, an inch or two in it because of the head. The head, and obviously Roadbuster's got a tiny, tiny head. So obviously but by a head and maybe a shoulder because the shoulders are up, up, up higher with the clips. But I would say there's not that much in it. So he's just a bit, maybe just slightly taller than a Voyager. But obviously this is kind of Cyberverse or Deluxe. Uh, not si not deluxe uh, cyberverse or commander class uh, size figure that uh, Wolfgang would be. So there you go. That, that's Wolfgang in that mode. I'll try and get and you've seen the air razor and his and his uh, arms micron mode. So I'll try and get. Uh, I'll move Wolfgang out of the road. I'll take your razor off. If I can. And I'll take that other mace off if I can. There we go. Right, we're going to try and transform him. Let's see how well or badly I do this. First, you got to do is straighten the arms. And see that clip there. It goes into that hole, that on that clip holder there. And same with the other side. Try to focus this because it keeps getting out of focus. So that just clips on in there like that. You heard that? And oh, it likes to pop out. And if I can get the damn thing in, that one goes on that side. But they are supposed to clip into them side bits. But this thing doesn't want to play ball today. Because this is, this is how you're supposed to do it. Let me move them back. No, it doesn't want to play ball out. Why? But it's supposed to clip into them anyway. But for some reason, it doesn't want to play ball with it. Oh, that, that's what I did wrong. I'll start again. I'll start again. I'll start again. You don't do that. You move this whole back bit up and over there. Now you can clip these in. I think that's what's preventing it from clipping in. Although that leg seems to be in the road. I think I'll move the you can move the legs back like that. That clips in there. And that damn thing allows it. That'll clip in there. Then this whole bit at the back comes up and forward like that. That, that clears that so you can clip these in. There. They're clipped in now. So you move that whole thing back. His legs are supposed to be down like that. Then you move the legs up and over like this to the front. And same with that side. Because that's going to form the front of the vehicle. So you move it there. And these, you can see them clip, the clip goes into the clip holder there. These clip into there. Hopefully that's better. And that will clip into that one. See, we're getting it. 
Now, this whole thing at the front, just push it together. And you're supposed to raise it up. Now, it keeps riding off the ball joint. And the instructions it says it has it sitting like... It has it sitting like that. Because it's got to have some clearance to have the wheels rolling. If you set it far too down, it's not going to have the clearance for the wheels. But in doing so, it just keeps riding out the ball joint. So you just kind of have it up there and just kind of sort of rest it on that, on the two ball sockets if you can. Uh, where are they? They're in there. I just I think thing doesn't want to play ball with it. I had this working earlier now, it just doesn't want to play ball on camera. Right. Well, if you can get it, if you have better luck than me, I should have just have done this when it was in vehicle mode. Such bother with these bloody things. Especially construct bots. Right. <sighs> Try and clip that together. It just squeezes together, really. Right, that, that's as best I can do, right? And you rotate the fists, move them up, rotate the other fist. If it stop, try to undo from the clip and move them up. And that's it. And Basically, it's vehicle mode. Hold on. It's vehicle mode. If there was such bother, this video would be shorter. Uh, you just kind of rest it on, on top of the ball joints here because it's... Otherwise you won't have clearance for the, the wheels rolling. But it rolls pretty well. I don't think it looks any light bulkhead, to be honest. Even the... The head sculpt doesn't look like a bulkhead, but I suppose it, it's for a construct bot, it's the best you're going to get. Now you can add the weapons on. That one goes into that clip there, or clip, clips into there, there, and the other one uh, clips all over on here. The thing comes off. Oh, it doesn't want to play ball with it. It does clip into there. Yeah. I can't get that damn thing to, to sit on that. I not shake it about too much. There, so the weapons go on there. You could add this one on somewhere. Uh, there's plenty of spaces. I don't know where the hell you would add it on to. Uh, or maybe you can't. If Oh wait, you can because there's a, a clip holder. You could, you could have it on there. Or on there. Or one of there. Or, or whatever. There's lots of clips. Clip areas so you could have it on there. You could, the only trouble is you can see the head with that side up and the feet stick up in there. Or you could have the feet back. You can put the feet back, you see. Like, like that. You put the feet back like that. But you'd have the head st sticking up, which is a bit weird. Yeah, it would have to clip into there. But you've got the head sticking up, so that's that's the only problem with having adding air razor onto it. You'd have the head upside. There's nothing to clip onto it from that side. Uh, there's they're all just clip holders. They're not actual. They're not the actual clip on the vehicle. They're just clip holders. So uh, you could add that if you want, but like I say, you just. Have the problem of the head sticking up. You could put the head round the other way, I think. 
I think I think the head would go round the other way. I don't know. It might go round the other way. It might go round the other way. The head might uh, rotate round it the other way to that side. Now he would have it, but then you'd have the head in the road of where you're trying to clip it onto. You have that problem. But it's up to you. You know, you can mix and match with these things, as you know. But anyway. Try and get him back to his thing we mode again. It's not easy getting that out of there. But he's it looks he's alright, kind of for a you know, at least you're getting these little kind of extra gimmicky type things, you know. You're getting the sort of arms micro and air razor with it. You've got the extra little wolf. Uh, wolf Gang Oh, Wolf Fang I keep saying Wolf Gang It's Wolf Fang Wolf Fang Wolf Fang That's who it is, I say Wolf Gang It's Wolf Fang uh, Obviously these are starting coming out I've seen them in Toys R Us and Or whatever uh, I don't know if Home Bargains do them They tend to do a lot of these construct bots If you're into them You can pick them up now They're starting to appear the other one I've seen was Optimus with a weird curved sword, Beast Hunters, and there's a blue dragon style Predacon one. It's not Preda King, it's not Preda King, but it's uh, a, it's like that. It's a blue dragon, uh, Preda King style dragon type one, but it's not Preda King. It's got a different name to it. I can't remember what it is, but uh, those ones are out. Obviously, the one I'm after, uh, here's the instruction booklet. Is focus that in. Yep, Unicron Megatron with Ratbat and Barrage. So it looks like they're all coming out with. Um, it looks pretty cool that Unicron Megatron construct bot. Obviously, it has the uh, what would I say the the um, oh what do you call it the. Blitzwing one, you know, it has that kind of Blitzwing design to it, just that kind of Blitzwing style, same type of body. But you can see that's the one I'm after. Uh, it hasn't come out yet from where I've seen, maybe you've seen them. But I'll, I'll get them and then I'll review them when I do get that. I've heard that's supposed to be the most like Unicron Megatron. That one, especially in construct bots. You can see that back there. He's obviously an arms micron as well. And you've got barrage, whatever, whatever the hell barrage is supposed to be. I don't know if I'll focus in bar whoop. Focus in barrage there. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. It looks sort of like wolf fang. But I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. It's weird, it's got the same Wolfang type um, um, sword type tail on it there. You can see. See, it's got the same Wolfang type sword tail on it there. And I like the, the, the jet mode for Unicron Megatron, but that's definitely the one I'm wanting. And I'll get it as soon as it comes out, as soon as I see it, where I um, getting it, but that's been Construct Bots Bulkhead, Air Razor, and Wolf Fang. I'm saying Wolf Gang, it's Wolf Fang, and there they are. There, okay, thanks. See you later, bye.